hi guys welcome back to my channel today if this is your first time of being here you're welcome if you're a returning viewer you are also welcome i want to thank you guys for all of the support it's very very massive and i appreciate that so today's story you're going to be learning how to create a modesty panel for your corsets okay i don't know if you understand what modesty panel is but it's actually for modest people that don't want the back of their corsets to be open so in that case you create like a closure to cover up your back so this is what we are going to be making today first of all we have to draft out our basic back pattern for this so i have my paper right here and i've marked out the starting line just a normal basic um back bodies okay that is what we are going to be drafting out so that we could be able to cut out what we are going to use for this tutorial so i'm going to extend my tape and mark out my vertical measurements which is the bust point and the waistline now remember that the front length and the back length is usually not the same okay so from that shoulder line again you're going to go down and mark out your chest line and then the shoulder slope and you're just going to connect the shoulder slope and the chest line and that will be your armhole depth right so from the folded part of the back that is the center back you're going to have to mark out the neck width and the neck depth and our neck depth is usually about one or 1 1.5 inches for the back well, it's not standard anyway it all depends on what you want so i went ahead to mark out my neck width and my neck depth and i also went ahead to divide my armhole depth into two and then mark out now from there you're going to have to divide all your body circumference by four and then input whatever you have right there and then you go ahead and screw up your lines and connect your armhole so after this you are going to have to from the center back input your dart okay so for my dart you are going to have to make use of your nipple to nipple that is the bust span measurement and for this tutorial I, I made use of four inches now once you are done with that you are going to have to extend your chest line towards the center back so that you'll be able to mark out where your dart for the back should start and you usually start from one inch below the chest line okay so you mark out that and then for your dart intake for me i made use of one inch because um on a medium size so if, if you're drafting for a bigger person you could make use of about a quarter of an inch on both sides so after that you replace this dart can you see replace the darts on the waistline and then from here we are going to determine the neck that we want okay so i want these to like i want to cut off the yoke but we are not going to make use of that of course this is just for a tutorial okay to show you guys how to go about creating your modesty panel so this one is just for you guys to see how to draft out the back so i have my yoke can you see the yoke i labeled it the back yoke okay and you can see that i cut this off from the chest line all right and i'm just going to go ahead and cut out what we are going to use for this tutorial now you can see that this back doesn't have a zipper allowance if you want to make use of a zip you are free to add up two inches or whichever um, inches you want to use okay so can you see what i have right here i extended my that to that chest line next is from the center back i'm going to come in by two inches i want to deduct two inches extra okay in that case i'm removing about four inches you know if you are to have zipper you're supposed to add up about two inches for your zipper okay but then i don't have a zipper right there and i went ahead to minus two inches right now i'm going to close up my darts because i don't want to make use of any darts right at the back okay i'm going to close up the darts and after closing it up i'm going to make use of my solo tape to hold it down so i'll go ahead and bring in my solo tape hold it down and then cut up the ss now it's time for us to go into the drafting of the modesty panel 
now for the modesty panel i'm going to be making use of this fabric you can make use of fabric of your choice and you can also see my lining right there so i'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric into two because we need two for the back right and right now i'm adding up my seam allowance after adding up my side seam allowance right at the upper part i'm going to add up half an inch which would be for joining or turning my lining okay if you're making use of yoke that place is where you're supposed to join your yoke also now at the center front i added half an inch, an inch also okay that is for turning the loop of the center back because this is going to have a loop and right at the damp part i added one inch okay that is for my hemming allowance now i'm going to go ahead and place two notches at the upper part and then at the center i'm going to place one notch and then um, i'm going to go ahead and level my back so that i'll be able to differentiate between the back and the front okay so you guys um that notches that i made right there is for me to be able to note which one is the upper part and which of them is the damp part also which one is the center and which is the side okay do this because if you don't do that this is going to confuse you a lot and you guys you can see that i'm cutting out the lining the lining and the actual fabric is going to be the same at this point you can see i'm also placing the notches again so that it will it will come out on the lining okay now i went ahead to chalk down okay to differentiate the wrong side and the right side of the lining now this is my actual piece and next step i'm going to take is to check the length of my back can you see so right there i have nine inches so what i'm going to cut out now is my modest panel so to cut out this modest panel you can see remember that i cut off two inches and then i didn't add zipper allowance right and i went ahead to cut off two inches so two inches for one part of the um, back and two inches for the other part supposed to have four right so what i'm going to do is to fold this modesty panel enough to cover up my back okay so i'm supposed to cut out about eight inches in wideness so that it will be enough to cover up my back but now because i need seam allowance to join turn this together okay i'm going to make it nine inches so i finished cutting it out next is for me to fuse in this feasible interface if you're in nigeria we call this paper gum but if you are not in nigeria this is simply the lightest type of interface okay so i fused it in and i'm just going to go and sew the upper part and the damp part and i'm going to leave the sides one side open and that is where i'm going to turn out this modesty panel so you can see the open part i'm going to turn it around can you see so after turning it around i'm going to go over to my ironing table and then give this a good press guys make sure that you fuse in this feasible interface if not it's going to be very light and when it's on your back it's going to be moving around in fact you won't feel comfortable with it it won't stay one place okay so now this is my lining piece and you know that this lining this back piece is divided into two right one for the left and one for the right now it depends on where you want to fix in this your modest panel but then we are going to come to that because i'm going to show you two different ways you can create your modest panel okay so what i'm doing right now is to go ahead and remove about half an inch from the upper part and half an inch from the damp part and i'm going to go ahead and measure what is remaining in the middle now whatever is remaining in the middle i'm going to divide it again into two and again into four right so this is actually what i'm dividing right now so you share them equally it might come out about 0 0.75 that is three quarter of an inch 
or it might come out about half half inches interval okay so i'm going ahead to divide it if you are not understanding my english simply glue your eye to this screen and you're going to understand every bit of what i'm explaining right now so i'm trying to mark out what i am going to use to form my loop for this back okay and the other side is supposed to align with the this side that i just finished marking out so that's why i'm using what i have on that part to mark out the other side okay now that i'm done marking it out next step is for me to bring in any fabric of my choice it is either a satin or any plain material which you want to use to form this loop but for me i'm going to make use of this bias so i'm going to run a tight stitch on this bias and then bring it over here to show you guys so i've run the tight stitch next is for me to cut it out how i want it that is the length i want it to be so for me i'm going to make use of 2.5 inches at least 2.5 inches is enough but at minimum you should use two inches all right so you guys um next step is for you to place your bias on your fabric this way okay place it in such a way that the folded part of the bias should be inside can you see what i have here i finish putting in the bias so what i'm going to do next is to fix my lining okay now for me to fix this lining i'm going to bring in the modesty panel and i'm going to sandwich this modesty panel in between the fabric and the lining so can you see what i have there and i'm just going to go over to my sewing machine and stitch the center back then stitch the upper part and then the side back i'm going to leave the damp parts open okay that is if you had to join this on another material that is the damp part right you have to leave the damp part open so i'll finish turning it and you guys can you see what we have so this is one way you can fix in your modesty panel to your corset okay so once you are done with this you can see that this is very close to the center back right so i'm going to show you another way you can do this that way i'm going to loosen up what i have right there that is the first one and i'm going to show you how to go about the other type okay now i'm going to cut out another lining exactly what i have on this lining right now this one so i have another lining right here so what i'm going to do first i've cut out another lining before dividing this one if you don't want to do this if you don't want to waste your lining you can use a pattern for this but because i showed you the first type that's why i i am using this lining so you can see that from the side from the center back okay i measured inwards about two inches okay it depends on how inside you want the modesty panel this time so i went ahead to cut out two inches and that two inches i'm going to cut out another lining can you see what i'm doing and that part that i'm going to fuse in the modesty panel i'm going to add half an inch seam allowance right on that part so you guys can you see what i'm doing and i also went ahead to notch so that i won't get myself confused now what i'm going to do next is you see my lining right here now this side i'm going to fuse in the modest panel i added half an inch right so i'm going to bring in my modest panel and then sandwich it in between these two lining can you see what i'm showing you right now okay and your lining should be facing right sides on each other okay so you guys can you see what i have and right now it's time for us to turn our fabric with the lining okay so i'm trying to turn it i will go and turn it and come show you guys what we have so can you see that i finished turning it and this is what we have you guys so let me open it and you see the difference between the first and the 
and then this one can you see so i think i prefer this one the other one is too close to the loops but this one is just sitting right inside and relaxed can you see so you guys um this is definitely the end of this tutorial these are the two ways you can you can create modesty panel for your corsets okay i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial you can see what we have there this is the bag this is how neat it is looking all right and yeah this is the end of it i'm going to lace it up for you guys to see and you guys if you haven't subscribed at this point please subscribe like share this video to get more people to see it and i'll definitely see you in my next one bye